Tara Jones from Peaceful Solutions and I have with me tonight my best girl Phantom and she's going to help me out with this session. Previously I filmed a session called Pole Low or as many of you might know the head down cue and now I'm going to go into a continuation of that exercise that's actually very very helpful and it's, in, it's implementing using the head down cue but also adding in the outside rein. So we're using two rein pressure for this exercise. Originally, I learned this exercise in Australia when I was at Equitana and I watched a Philippe Carl demo. I could not believe my eyes when I saw one of the dressage masters doing this exercise in front of hundreds of people. I immediately couldn't wait to try it out on one of my horses and I was amazed at the results. I really couldn't believe that I didn't think of it first, but when I started doing it with my horses, it makes perfect and total sense. So when I'm going to pick up on pressure from the previous cue of Polo, I'm picking up in a diagonal line until my horse lowers the pole. And I wanna make sure that the pole is pretty much all the way down in the dirt. So that way the horse is relaxing all of the major neck muscles. Now I wanna go in and I wanna fine tune that a little bit. And I wanna make sure that I'm getting rid of any tilt, twist, turn through the pole and through all of the neck vertebrae. So I'm gonna incorporate the outside rein with this exercise. And I'm just going to place that right over phantom directly behind where her head stall would be. This hand is going to apply downward pressure over the pole, and this hand is going to apply upward pressure, asking for the head down cue or the pole low cue. So I'm going to add both pressures at the same time. Phantom is going to lower her head, and I'm going to release both pressures. When you're asking, your hands basically come towards each other. Now I'm going to go one step further, and I'm going to draw a line right down the center going to apply pressure with the right rein downward, pressure upward with the left hand. Both reins are going to coincide together. She's going to lower her head. I want her to keep it on that line and I'm going to immediately release the pressure. Hopefully she'll stay down there. You can see her head starting to raise. This is where I call it the helium balloon phase where their head kind of floats. And when it does, it's not a big deal. Go ahead and pick up your pressures again. Let them meet each other. Once the horse lowers its head in response to both, release that pressure once again. The horse will in turn learn that when it feels both pressures to lower the head in response to both and keep the head low. So the pole area of the horse is the area that holds the most tension, but the pole area, I call it the magic area. And while everybody talks about engaging the hindquarters, I always talk about engaging the pole. The pole is where it starts. So while I go through all of the muscles and revamp muscles and modify muscles, one of the biggest things that I need to remember as well is how to coordinate the pole. Because the pole has a huge effect on the horse's feet and a huge effect on the horse's posture with their body. So when I'm asking Phantom to lower her head like I am here, I want to make sure that her pole stays relatively straight. There's something called head tilt, which demonstrate here, if Phantom were to twist her head to the side, you can see how her right ear is lower than her left. That's going to start to twist the cervical vertebrae, something I don't want. If there's too much twist in those vertebrae, it's going to in turn tighten the neck muscles, tighten the back muscles, and affect the feet. So what are we always after when we're training our horses? Softness through the muscles, relaxation through the muscles, tone through the muscles. So all of the things that go together in order to make our horse work and make our horse tick. We have to make sure that we start right here on the ground. And I know in a lot of these videos, I've been going through a lot of groundwork exercises and there really is a reason for that. I wanna make sure that everybody firmly understands the reasoning behind each exercise. I'm kind of giving you all a free hall pass of exercises that I've worked on for years. So to figure out how one flows into the next one, to figure out how it works for each horse, how it helps each horse, is pretty amazing. Now I'm just switching my hands, basically, and Phantom is wanting to move backwards from the pressure on the right. This is her problem side, and this tends to be the side where she's more stiff. It also is the side right now, right in this instant, where I've been riding her for the last four days, where her right hind foot is not connecting. So it's not tracking up properly. 
So I've gone back to the drawing board and I've helped her to connect to the bit on the right hand side. I've also helped to get her to release these pole muscles, to get her to release the area right here, right behind her ears, so that she's releasing the tension. I'm also very conscious to make sure that she doesn't have head tilt or any twisting happening so that it's not affecting her hind feet. If I can, Phantom's 20 years old now, so I wanna make sure that she can reach her optimum performance level safely while we're working on all of the exercises and all of the performance things that we have to do this year. So again, behaviors like that, you just typically ignore. Phantom always loves to scratch her foot. She always loves to rub her face on her leg. So all of those little behaviors, I'm just going to ignore and I'm going to keep working on the pole low with double reins. Once she lowers her head on both sides as she's doing here, then I'm just gonna make sure that I can switch back and forth and it's fairly even on both sides. And right here, you'll see she's bobbing. I'm just gonna hold it that extra second until she politely lowers her head. If the horse moves their feet, go with them. You're only looking for the head to lower, you're not looking for anything with the feet. Once the horse figures out that you're not searching for anything with the feet, they'll stop moving. The other thing that's really great with this exercise is you'll see that Phantom's keeping her head down by herself, literally keeping it down there. And that's what I'm aiming for. I want her to start to understand that when I apply a cue, to keep the cue in effect until I change something about it. Whether I say, go left, go right, go forward, raise your head, lower your head a little bit more, etc., etc. So all of these exercises that I'm asking her for, I want to make sure that she can do them to the optimum level. That way, when I really need them and I need to pull them out of my bag of tricks, she'll have them. So this again is pull low with double reins, otherwise commonly known to my students as action and reaction. And again, it's a great exercise for you to be able to practice with your horse. Something you could go over, it's something that you never really can do enough of, so you don't have to worry about overdoing it. And it's one of those things that I normally do with a bit. You can start out with a snaffle like Phantom has now. And just go through this exercise until you see complete relaxation in the horse's neck. And it's wonderful to see that. And to see that nice soft feeling behind her pole. Literally when I push into her skin, there's a nice soft trampoline feel to her muscles. And that's really what I want. So I hope this, this exercise was helpful for you all. I'll be sure to provide the link below of the pole low or the head down cue. at a halt, you can do it walking. So in another video, we'll go over that step. But I wanna thank Phantom so much for coming out here tonight on this beautiful evening. The heat has diminished, the breeze is blowing, so hopefully you can hear this video fairly well and you don't have a lot of kickback from the audio. But I really wanna thank her for being such a great partner all these years. She really is a fantastic horse. She's pushing 20 now and she's just still amazing. So. Thanks everybody for watching these video tutorials. Please be sure to subscribe and I will see you all on the next one. Thanks so much everybody. Have a great night. Bye-bye.